you knew so much about the weird, wonderful world of ballet. <laughs> well, because... you know, what I knew about it was everything that I had loved as a child. I went to ballet classes as a child. And in fact, I found this picture. I don't know if you, you can <gasps> see it. This is oh, me. That's this heaven. is my utter delight. And this was me and my oh. dance class circled there. Oh, wow, little... that seems quite serious. Wow. Yes. Well, those oh, were my four exercises there. Class. I mean, my dad was in the REF, so we lived in Cyprus. And that's when I started to do ballet, when I was in Cyprus. And my brother reminds me that he would come along and watch some of the class and there were like little hippopotamuses running about. That's how he described it. <laughs> but in my head, it was, I was beautiful and I was live and I was uh, free and I could express myself and I was appreciated by everybody. And I was, you know, I was able to be um, as unique as I wanted to be inside this discipline. And it freed me up to feel graceful and to feel fit. And I just, it just made me very happy. So, oh my um, gosh, you're saying all the right things. I can't tell you. Well, it is, you know, <laughs> and I've always been a little fat girl. And, but I found at ballet class, that wasn't an issue. That wasn't the point there. I mean, it may, you know, if I ever wanted to enter that world later on, <laughs> it might have become a point. But you know what? Through you, Darcy, I did enter that world <laughs> because everything that I dreamt of as a child, of dancing with prima ballerinas or being a prima ballerina or whatever, I've been able to live out like most people do with the dressing up box and showing off in a mirror. I, I've been able to act. Actually, do it 